After a long weekend away with a bunch of other data creators, I am finally back. And I do have plenty of content from there that I need to start putting out. But today I wanna to answer a very important question. And I think it's very important because you guys keep asking it like over and over again. Which cloud should you learn? AWS, Azure, or GCP? And the correct answer is yes. All right, so it's not as short as yes, you just need to learn all three. Obviously, you're going to need to pick one of these three to start with. So let's dig into the nuance of that answer. First, starting out with understanding how often are these different solutions used? Well, let's start out by looking at Statista's numbers here. If you kind of look at this chart I'm about to put up, uh, what you'll see is that AWS has about 33% of the market, Azure has 22% and GCP about nine. So if you're just basing it off market share, AWS is kind of the clear winner for now. But Azure has done a great job catching up because at the end of the day, Microsoft is everywhere and it's very easy for Microsoft to make that sale. You know, they just put it part of their larger uh, licensing agreement or uh, whatever type of agreement they have, contract, etc. It's really easy for them. And honestly, GCP continues to struggle. Despite the fact that GCP is really trying to sell very hard on their kind of AI side of things, you know, Vertex AI and all of that, it's just a harder piece in terms of, I think, like enterprise software. I think uh, Azure really has done a great job on the enterprise side. And I think AWS has done a great job selling in the new tech, big tech kind of space. You know, Netflix, I believe, runs off of them as well as Capital One. And so, Oftentimes, what you'll see is it's going to depend in terms of what you want to learn, where you want to work. If you want to work for maybe in a classic Fortune 500 company, they're likely using Azure and that's a great place to start. But if you're looking to work maybe more in big tech, you're likely going to get involved in AWS. And to further this point, I think AWS is a great place to start because as Medijo said in a recent live that we did, well, let's just let him say it. AWS is more technical. Mm -hmm. And GCP is just like more high level, just to make make it works. Uh, Google designed the things differently, but so I believe like if you are uh, used to AWS, it's going to be easier for you to jump on uh, GCP than the other way around. Yeah, I kind of agree that AWS is more developed, I think, for the technical user. It's very much kind of complicated, but in a way that allows you to do a lot. AWS, in my opinion, does tend to be the more complicated cloud provider. They were kind of the first mover in the space. And so yes, it does take a little bit of a learning curve, but honestly, once you've learned it, you can pretty quickly understand the other two. But you do need to ask yourself, where do you want to work? You know, which company? Do you use it an Azure company? Then maybe learn Azure. If it's an AWS company, learn AWS. But all three of these solutions have pretty much the same products. If they don't already, they will shortly. AWS has MWAA for Airflow and GCP has Cloud Composer. Now, personally, I kind of prefer the way MWAA is set up a little more. Uh, there's some uh, annoying nuances in Cloud Composer that I really do wish were different, but it's kind of the same. You have EC2 on one side and on the other side, you have Cloud Compute. And most of these cloud providers have a similar component on all sides. And that's not the challenge. Usually the challenge between learning these different technologies is all the kind of middle pieces in between. You know, how you set up uh, roles and securities and IAM, you know, that can be a little bit of a hassle. How you set up VPCs, that can be a little bit, you know, of a hassle depending on which solution you pick. And honestly, I really do think the AWS answer really does work well if you really have to start somewhere. But at the end of the day, you're going to learn all three at some point or whichever new cloud provider comes out shortly it doesn't really matter where you start as long as it's one of arguably the big three. And if you really wanna be using a tool that most people are using, just pick a AWS and you can probably pick up the rest along the way. With that guys, I wanted to keep this video pretty short and sweet and hopefully this was helpful for you answering the question, which cloud provider should you pick? Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye.